that's where we have the highest chance of severe weather development. And we're talking significant severe weather, meaning large hail, very damaging winds, and several tornadoes possible, especially in this area of Texas. And this is not in a tornado warning or not even a severe thunderstorm warning, but I would go ahead and treat this as if it is a tornado warning. We're starting to see that hook, which does give that potential for it to be a tornado. And looking at our storm relative velocity, definitely looks like some spin right over Johnson's Landing into Allendale County. This low pressure system has a lot of cold air and abundant moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's what's producing some of this winter precipitation for our far northern counties. For the rest of us in the CSRA, this is just a rain event. 60 mile per hour wind gusts, penny sized hail, a lot of heavy rain, and very frequent lightning within this line of storms. Lightning counter at 100 strikes right now. This is an upper level trough, and this is what we're watching for that severe development. Downstream of that is where we have that highest chance of severe weather. So for Tuesday setup, that severe weather threat shifts towards the east, impacting the deep south. Jenna, it turned out to be really nice today. Yeah, that's right, Jenny. We were sunny and 75 today. That was our high temperature, just one degree above our average high. For notice we're not seeing a well-defined center at all. All the heavy rainfall is on the right side of the system, bringing that rain throughout southern Florida today. And over the last 24 hours, we've definitely seen some impressive totals. And this is headed right towards downtown Millen now. So this is actually outside of that polygon, but definitely looks like some very heavy rain at the very least. But let's go ahead and check our hail path. This lets us know exactly where hail is likely to be and exactly where I was pointing out. Now, don't be fooled. This scene may look a little spooky, but the forecast sure isn't. If you're ever in a tornado warning, it's very important to take it seriously. The best place to go would be the lowest level of your house, such as a basement. Here we have beautiful sunshine. It's so bright and sunny. I'm actually blinded by it right now. So when we have clear, cool nights like we've had over the last several days, fog tends to form in the morning. But for today's weather question, it's how bad does that visibility need to be to issue a dense fog advisory? We need what we call condensation nuclei, aka air particles such as dust, dirt, or pollen that's all floating around the atmosphere. So the water vapor will condense onto these air particles and then turn into water droplets. So now we're going to quickly remove our lid. We started out with partly cloudy skies, a little bit of sunshine, but now it's mostly cloudy. But the good thing with that is that it cooled our temperatures down into the mid 70s here. So really a great night to come out. Just keep that rain jacket with you in case you encounter some of that rain. But there's so much to do here. Just to the right of me, we've got some Italian ice. I'm looking forward to trying that. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Welcome back, 744 now. And if you were with us earlier, you may have noticed I showed sunny skies over on our Skyview Network cam in Aiken, but over in downtown Swainsboro, in opposite situation, we have pretty overcast skies. So our southern counties still have those lingering clouds in the Augusta area and northward we do have sunshine. So 69 degrees in Augusta, feeling like 70. Still a pretty muggy morning despite some drier air moving in. 68 degrees as that dew point with visibility down to 7 miles. We're seeing anywhere from 68 to 72 degrees across the CSRA. A little bit warmer in some of our western and southern counties where they still see the cloud cover. Satellite and radar just showing the clouds for the two state view. Just some spotty showers down in southern Georgia. But the bulk of the rain and storms is now out to sea as this cold front is now to the south of us, bringing some really nice weekend conditions. Moving on to the tropics real quickly, we are watching this trough of low pressure along the Texas coastline. Just a 10% chance of development here, and of course it's already very close to land, so the opportunity of development is very limited. But regardless, some heavy rain headed towards Texas from the Houston area down through Brownsville. But here in town, we're giving it a hole-in-one today. Perfect for outdoor plans, your forecast is looking great. Northeast wind of 6 miles per hour heating up only into those upper 80s today under partly cloudy skies. Dew points will only top off in those mid 60s, so definitely still feeling a little bit muggy, but nothing like what we typically see in August, which will be those real sticky and humid conditions. By Tuesday, as we have more rain moving in, that's when those dew points will climb back to the 70 range. Temperatures, though, are staying below average, so regardless of the higher humidity, at least our temperatures are going to be lower than average. 92 for Monday. That will be the hottest temperature this week, and we'll definitely take it. The rest of the week will be in those upper 80s. Spotty dry conditions in some.
some of our counties. We could use a little bit more rainfall, but we definitely got enough of that yesterday. So we'll enjoy this 0% chance of rain today and for tomorrow. Then those rain chances increase to 40% Monday through Wednesday. Higher rain chances to end the work week. So definitely expect more overcast and rainy conditions throughout next week. But fortunately, the weekend is looking really great. 9 o'clock today, notice the clouds anywhere from Waynesboro to the south. Northeasterly wind, that'll bring a little bit more moisture and some partly cloudy conditions throughout the afternoon. Futurecast showing spotty showers. However, I really don't expect any rain today. And by tonight, we are clearing out even more, making for a really sunny Sunday. Just uh, wind coming in from the northeast once again. No rain in sight and the humidity will even be lower on Sunday. But as I mentioned, we will be keeping an eye on things Monday through Tuesday. Another cold front is approaching us, bringing scattered storms pretty much all of next week as this lingers in our area. Also, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a marginal risk of severe weather from the Augusta and Aiken areas to the north, so we could have some gusty wind potential for the start of the work week. So stay with us for more details on that. But in the meantime, a fantastic Fantastic weekend, 88 today, 90 tomorrow, waking up at only 64 degrees tomorrow, so a really nice week of below average temperatures, but definitely some more rain as we go into next week. And I was about to say that, Jenna, we have rain, but at least the temperatures are a little bit cooler. That's right, and <laughs> really surprising for well, August, so absolutely. we'll take it. Yes, I will. And sports is next.